Flower bomb. Solid. <laughs> hey YouTube fragrance family, welcome to another episode of Sampling Samples. Today I'm gonna to be sampling from the house of Victor and Rolf. Um, a 2005 release and a woman's fragrance called Flower Bomb. If you haven't checked out my initial impression on this particular fragrance, you can check out the video right here. I did that video back in December 5th, 2016. Um, I totally depleted the sample. I wore it, my wife wore it, and I'm here to tell you guys what I think, what, my, what is my final verdict on Flower Bomb. So let's get into it. The big notes in Flower Bomb, um, the one that really uh, got my attention, um, there is some florals in here, but really my initial impression, same thing, is the patchouli in this fragrance. It really was something that caught my attention right away. It almost sort of reminded me of, uh, in the women's aisle, Angel from Muglier. So my impressions on this fragrance was sweetness, um, caramelized sweetness. It was really, uh, Took me aback, to be quite honest, as far as looking at the note breakdown, I was like, what is this? Uh, very smooth, um, it was actually very well balanced in my opinion, uh, the blends very, very good. Not as floral as the name states, um, so that was another surprise there. It does utilize florals, but it's not a flower bomb. Uh, very solid release in the woman's aisle, to be quite honest, smells great on a woman, smelled great on my wife. Um, she wasn't a fan. Um, she really likes um, really pleasant, easy to wear. Um, even though there's a lot of sweetness, she likes sweet fragrances. But um, this one, um, she didn't like it. I loved it on her. So I, I loved it. Um, I thought it was really great, outstanding. I love the caramel-like sweetness in this fragrance. It makes me think of actually Angel, especially with the patchouli in it. It gave me some rose and jasmine, but not overly uh, overload on, on the jasmine and the rose that it made this fragrance super floral. And, and that goes to show the balance in this fragrance, really well balanced, the blend and everything. Um, this is a top seller for Victor and Ralph, so it's highly popular. And that is one of the things that is probably a downside on this one. So the staying power on this, um, yes, I wore this fragrance, I tried it out. Um, I could wear this uh, to be quite honest. Uh, staying power was very good. I was getting six to eight hours with this one. So very good, well worth your money. Heavy projection too. So this one um, does last. The good things about this fragrance, I'm very much a, a great blend, well balanced, and I would say unisex even. So some really good things here. Uh, the use of patchouli was well, well done. Um, the bad things about this fragrance, I couldn't really pinpoint anything. Um, except for the popularity of this fragrance. This is something that, you know, a lot of fragrances, like um, in the men's aisle, we got the Sauvages and the Bleus and the Aventus. Um, you don't want to smell like the next guy. Um, so this is one thing uh, with this particular fragrance that uh, may bring it down a notch, that you don't want to smell like everybody. My final take, is this bottle worthy another sample or a pass? I might just get a bottle of this for my wife, just for my guilty pleasure. She might turn around, you never know. Um, so I am definitely looking for a bottle of Flower Bomb. And that means once I get the bottle in, full-fledged review on it, so I can't wait. That goes to a star rating, one being uh, atrocious, terrible fragrance, <laughs> and five being uh, bottle-worthy or um, really something that I'm jumping up and down and saying, I gotta get this. Um, This is a four star, which I don't give out like cookies. So four star fragrance, I really like uh, the blend, the balance, projection longevity, all outstanding. Um, there's a lot of great things to talk about with Flower Bomb. So I think it's actually one that is worth its popularity. So Flower Bomb, worth the money. And that goes to, of course, all of you out there that are watching this video. Uh, please comment below if you own Flower Bomb or um, your wife or girlfriend or the ladies out there. I'd love to hear from you. I want to see if I have more than three subscribers in the woman's aisle here. You guys, comment below. I want to hear from you. Even though if you don't like Flower Bomb, comment below. Say, say, say your piece or you haven't smelt it. I just want to see if I got more than three to five uh, subscribers on the women's side. So thank you for watching. Have a good one.